the following is a non-profit fan-based production. Undertale is owned by Toby Fox. Please support the official release. Last time on Undertale with Voices Pacifist. No fire of friendship lives in our hearts. As long as it burns, we cannot drift apart. The quarrels arise, their numbers are few. Laughter and singing will see us through. Will see us through. And now back to sparing everybody. What a fun boat ride that was! Whew! Almost forgot how hot it was here! Almost like being right back at Undines! Seeing such a strange laboratory in a place like this, you're filled with determination! Is it an invisible laboratory? You know, speaking of Undine, maybe she could pull some strings with those two armored goons up ahead. Hey Undine! I'm in Hotland, and I'm seeing two monster knights stationed up ahead of me! What? Royal guards are blocking the way? Yep! Then I'll tell them to... Well, nothing, I guess. What?! I already told them to seek out and destroy you! And I can't just tell them I've changed my mind. Sure you can! You outrank them! You're the captain of the Royal Guard, aren't you? Oh, well, you see, Alpha showed me these animations about, uh, humans? So I can learn their weaknesses? And one of them is about this human that, uh, well, just suffice to say, they can control people's minds! Surprised? I know your kind's hidden powers! Slick of you, Undyne! Anyway, I told my crew that if I ever defended a human, I must be under some mind control and to disregard everything that I tell them. So, sorry, but my hands are tied. By the way, that animation is really good. I wonder if the animation she watched was code GS. I'll bet it was. Hi, could you let me through? Hi, could you let me through? Sorry, I'm just like told us there was totally a human in the area. So, like, us royal guards are blocking off the elevators for now. Yeah! Even if the elevators aren't working anyway, we'll do our best, Miss Undyne. I think I saw a human just across the bridge to my left. If you do hurry, you might be able to catch him. Like, no way you're getting by us. But, between you and me, I think you could go through that creepy lab over there. Between you, me, and my bro here, I mean, I tell him all my secrets. Maybe if I give you the puppy dog eyes? Hey, no loitering! Like, just kidding. I don't care. Like, loiter your heart out. Maybe if I give him the puppy dog eyes? What? You know, something I gotta ask. How were you able to stand this place? Seriously, not too long ago under, uh, that is to say, I saw a third person in armor come this way, and she collapsed from the heat exhaustion just across the bridge. So how do you... Did you spot the water cooler just a little ways away? Yes. That's how. Whatever, whatever. Oh, that laboratory. Air conditioning. It's been too long. It almost makes up for how dark this place is. Now, seeing that this is a lab, I can only hope that whichever egghead owns this joint won't try to dissect me. Christ! This must be the security system for this place! They've got video footage on me! Should I smash this thing? Nah, I'll probably just set off more alarms. Ooh, what's in here? 
Good call, Textbox. Not worth feeling around some monster scientist's trash in the dark. Probably filled with broken test tubes or used syringes. Or what's in here? No, come on, Textbox. Now you're just being difficult. Refrigerators have lights in them. I should be able to open this. Stupid, annoying little... I'm not a thief! Please don't change my DNA! Oh, my God! I didn't expect you to show up so soon! Well, uh, you know how I love arriving early! I haven't showered, I'm barely dressed, it's all messy, and... No worries! I brought this lovely quiche to this meeting we apparently had planned. We can share it together, Miss, uh... Um... Uh, hiya! I'm Dr. Elphis. I'm Asgore's royal scientist. Oh, crud. Another of Asgore's lackeys. But, 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 uh, I'm not one of the bad guys. Actually, since you stepped out of the ruins, I've, um, been observing your journey through my console. What? Your fights, your friendships, everything. By everything you mean... Everything? I was originally going to stop you, but watching someone on screen really makes you root for them. So, uh, now I want to help you. You do? Using my knowledge, I can easily guide you through Hotland. I know a way right through Asgore's castle, no problem. Sweet! Well, actually, um, there's just a tiny issue. A long time ago, I made a robot named Metaton. Originally, I built him to be an entertainment robot. Uh, you know, like a robotic TV star or something. Sounds cool! Anyway, recently, I decided to make him more useful. You know, just some small practical adjustments. Like, um, anti... anti-human combat features? Sounds uncool! Uh, of course! When I saw you coming, I immediately decided I have to remove those features. Unfortunately, I may have made a teensy mistake while doing so, and, um, now he's an unstoppable killing machine with a thirst for human blood? <laughs> but, um, hopefully we won't run into him. Huh? Did you hear something? Shit. Shit. Shit! Shit! Oh no. Oh yes! Welcome beauties! <laughs> to today's quiz show! Oh boy! I can already tell it's gonna be a great show! Everyone give a big hand for our wonderful contestant! I don't even... Never played before, gorgeous! I... No? No problem. It's simple. There's only one rule. Answer correctly. Or you die. Thank you. I never want to stop waving. Wait a minute. You're a robot. Robots are just machines, not technically alive. Meaning I can bash you into scrap metal and it'd make no difference than if I broke my own cell phone. Uh, well... You're welcome to try. Yeah! That was a beautiful preemptive attack, but now it's time to get our quiz show going. Damn it! Let's start with an easy one. What's the prize for answering correctly? Well, I always get money at the end of these fights, so... Ah, you wish! Wrong! Oh, God! Oh, God! Why are you being so mean to me, Mr. Robot? And zapping contestants half to death is A-OK? -okay? Here's your terrific prize. What's the king's full name? King Doctor Friendship. The 
it's funny, but it's Asgore. And I just heard his name again just a little while ago. Correct. What a terrific answer. Just what are you anyway? Ten attack. 999 defense? Invulnerable to attack? Nine. Nine. Enough about you. Let's talk about me. What are robots made of? Metal and magic. Too easy for you, huh? Well, you certainly aren't made of hopes and dreams, you 1960s Z movie prop. Is there really nothing else I can do besides check him and cry? And I guess I just attack with determination. Miss me, miss me. Ugh. Here's another easy one for you. Two trains, train A and train B, simultaneously depart Station A and Station B. Station A and Station B are 252.5 miles from each other. Train A is moving 124.7 miles per hour towards Station B, and Train B is moving at 253.5 miles per hour towards Station A. If both trains departed at 10 a.m. and it is now 10.08, how much longer until both trains pass each other? Uh, uh, oh god, this is like 12th grade level calculus here. Why are math teachers so obsessed with trains? And what are... Oh, oh! Wonderful, I'm astounded, folks. Thank you. You're welcome. Determination! <laughs> is that a notebook you've been swinging at me? Yes. Don't count on your victory. How many flies are in this jar? Wow, your eyes are that good? Correct, you're so lucky today. Determination! <laughs> Why do I even bother dodging? Why do I even bother attacking? Let's play a memory game. What monster is this? Well, that's definitely the froggy face of Froggus. But, but that looks nothing like Metaton! Okay, I'm really going out on a limb for you here. I'm so flattered you remember. What? I, that t-shirt, you never... Now I don't even feel slightly guilty about having a cheat sheet here with me. For humanity! But can you get this one? Would you smooch a ghost? Uh, if it was female and pretty, heck yeah! Great answer, I love it. This is at least preferable to crying or checking you out! Here's a simple one. How many letters in the name Metaton? What's with the numbers? Of course that was easy for you. Why can't I fight with this like those read or die girls do? Ooh, read or die! Loved that one. Time to break out the big guns. In the dating simulation video game, Mew Mew Kissy Cutie, what is Mew Mew's favorite food? Oh, oh, I know this one. It's snail ice cream. Ew. In the fourth chapter, everyone goes to the beach and she buys ice cream for all of her friends. But it's snail flavor and she's the only one who wants it. It's one of my favorite parts of the game because it's actually a very powerful message about a friendship and... Alfies, Alfies, Alfies. You aren't helping our contestant, are you? <laughs> Ooh, you should have told me. I'll ask you a question. You'll be sure to know the answer to. Who does Dr. Alfies have a crush on? Uh, Alfies? Uh, uh, uh. Well, that's obvious. Who else could she possibly have a crush on but myself? Seriously? My, my. How conceited can you get? Uh, uh I love it. And while you are completely wrong, you deserve some credit. I've seen her watch you on her computer screen, smiling when you succeed, shrieking when you fail, and always, always whispering, no, wrong, you have to go that way. In its own way, is this not love? It's both precious and creepy at the same time. Creepy! 
Wow, wow, wow. With Dr. Alfie's helping you, the show has no dramatic tension. We can't go on like this. But, but, this was just a pilot episode. Next up, more drama, more romance, more bloodshed. Until next time, darlings. Well, that was certainly something. Wow! You're a real brave lady, Dr. Alphys. Putting yourself at risk like that. And it's incredibly lucky that crazy robot didn't just out and out kill you for feeding me all those answers. Well, that a time only targets humans. He's strictly programmed to leave monsters alone. That makes sense. That last question? He wasn't supposed to ask that one. Well, what can you do? Robot's out of control. Can't rely on him sticking to the dictates of etiquette and propriety. G guess you're right. So, how'd he get in here in the first place? Was he walled in like that one Edgar Allan Poe story with the bricks and the cask of fast wind? Or maybe he beamed himself in there like in Star Trek. That's probably it. Do you have a pet dog, Alphys? No, but sometimes the dogs of the Royal G Guard stop by, and it's good to have something to feed them. They're an adorable, cuddly bunch, aren't they? Hey, Doc, you don't mind if I snag one of these noodles, do you? N no, help yourself. They sell ten of those for one gold coin. Why would you refrigerate instant noodles, though? Wait, wait! Let me give you my phone number. Then, maybe, if you needed help, I could... Okay, just let me grab my phone, opening my contacts list, and... Where did you get that phone? It's ancient. It doesn't even have texting. Wait a second, please. Here, I upgraded it for you. It can do texting, items, it's got a keychain. I even signed you up for the Underground's number one social network. Now we're officially friends. <laughs> I'm going to the bathroom. Oh yeah, she totally digs me. Like a bulldozer, baby. Hey, Dr. Alphys, got a question. I remember hearing some other monster down in Snowden that monsters don't actually need bathrooms because of the way monster food digests in the body. And certainly I haven't needed to use one since I fell down here, so if you don't mind me asking, why do you have one? It granular disorder. I see, I see. Do you, um... Miss it? Miss what? Using the bathroom. Not really. Never really liked having to wipe down there, you know? I guess. <laughs> Natsuki Sasahara from Hyper Police. Oh, the one I breezed through where all the squares were pink and red? Better leave a B just in case. Maybe she's developing a game of her very own! It's the most kawaii trash receptacle I've ever seen. Wonder if she mailed ordered it straight from Japan. Probably gave the postman special instructions to lob it into one of Mount Abbott's holes, and she'd pick it up down at the bottom. Didn't she say that she's been constantly watching me since I left the ruins? No good. I do recall seeing a few cameras in that snowy mountain area, but I went to some places that were pretty out of the way and secluded too. There's no way I was really on camera the whole time. Whee! Ah, books. These are all from monster authors. Plenty of titles like The Science of Magic, The Evolution of Monsters, and the Tem, your guess is as good as mine. 
Yeah, let's give it a look. Oh my, my, yes! I'm impressed by how very, very accurate this depiction of true human history is! Gotta hand it to the Japanese. They've always been huge sticklers for grounded realism and historical authenticity. What an impressive anthology of cold hard facts! All-purpose Cat Girl Nuku Nuku, Sailor Moon, XL Saga, Fooly Cooly, D Gray Man, Kill La Kill, My Hero Academia, and each one of these documentaries covers a point in time that's as equally world-shaping as 9-11 or the moon landing. I'm such a die-hard historian. Ah, yes, the breakfast wars of Eastern Europe. I remember it well. Barely a day went by without a news update on the French toasting of Versailles or the scrambled explosions on Madrid. I need to come back and visit this place later on. I know, every human knows that nothing's more punctual than an android, especially when it comes to school. What gives? The goop smells sweet, but I don't trust it enough to try any. I imagine you wouldn't have time for constructing all new gizmos when you're glued to the screen watching my every move. Ain't that right, Alfie's? Uh, pretty much. I like her. All oh, this mechanical genius and she can't make a washing machine for herself? The parts are still in the mail. I remember Doggo. Doggo was fun. You wanna put a light bulb in this, Alfie's? I... It, it's on my to-do list. Easy to draw, you say? Almost sounds to me like the words of an otherwise amazingly diligent and detail-oriented designer who decided, just this once, to be a lazy bum with one prop. I hope your show flopped like a bad souffle on the day it debuted, you unicycle riding clunker! Wee! Oh man, I've got to get mom and dad to install these things in our home once I'm back. And man, is this a great looking new phone besides! You're at Alphys' lab? Yeah! Check it out yourself! Isn't FaceTime great? Is she there? Alfie's, you mean? Sorry, but she shut herself in the bathroom. What bathroom? You know, the bathroom! Hey, tell her I said hi, okay? And tell me how she's doing. And tell me if she needs anything, and- She needs a new washing machine! Wait, no, don't ask any of that! Whatever you say. Now to try the lady who never answers my calls! I'm almost starting to hate the invention of caller ID. And hello, what are these two new options on my phone? Dimensional Box A and Dimensional Box B? Oh my god, it's all my stuff that was in that box! Oh my god, it's that little boy that promised to carry me around to a cool new place but keeps me shut in a box! I'm in Hotland right now. <laughs> Hotland? If you really want to get out of the box that badly, I suppose there's room in my pockets. No, no, no! That's okay! I'm sure you can handle yourself in that lava-packed death zone. I'll just stay nice and cool in here. Figured as much. God, that building looks precariously close to the cliff. And God, do I miss air conditioning. Already. Just realized I didn't watch Undying fight the human. What the? Oh yeah, social network. Thought she was talking to me. Well, I know she's unbeatable. I'll ask her about it later. Alfie's missed that one? That's surprising. Undyne was after me for a while, after all. The whole chase was a real edge of your seat stuff. For now, I gotta call up the human and guide him. This social network thing's gonna be more cursed than blessing, I can tell! Whoa! Better get my friend's input! Hey guys! 
I'm right outside Alphys' place, right near a conveyor system over a bottomless chasm! I rode on a conveyor belt once. I learned pretty fast that they make me sick. Did you hurl? Yeah, like 9,000 times! It was awesome! Okay, well, nowhere else to go. Oh, come on! Right in the conveyor belt? There ain't even any safety railings on this thing! Is that smoke coming out of your blowhole or... Crap, you aren't what I think you are, are you? You're hurt! I'll help! Ah, I know I injured, but how's lava gonna make things better? It'll colorize the wound, silly! Lava lamps aren't really known for their aroma, though. Let's see what else Axe has got for me this time. Encourage? Don't want to do that. Criticize? Don't want it exploding at me because I hurt its feelings. Maybe if I hug it, it'll think, job well done. You're a good-hearted magma spewer, Vulcan. Thank you for caring. Ah, I'm hugging hot rock. Oh, so lovely. I've decided I'm going to be a doctor. I'm going to go into med school and get my degree and pour my healing lava all over my patients. They will love me for it. That's the spirit. So glad I can help. Uh... Gonna call him in a minute. What's the name of this social network site anyway? Internet? Not very imaginative. Ooh, what big flames! Oh, thank God. The whooshing sound of steam and cogs. It fills you with determination. Determination heals all wounds. Using this phone. I don't want to do this, LMAO. Is there anyone there she's talking to? I have yet to see anyone else respond. Nothing up there. <coughs> Except a goddamn airplane wearing some kind of bonnet over its cockpit. God, what is this? No way. Why would I like you? Oh, so you're a lady plane, huh? I can work with that. Mechanical girls are good, too. Hm. Playing hard to get, huh? If I were to tell you the cutest part about you and your vertical stabilizer, would you hold it against me? Eh? Human? C keep your distance from me! Is this far away <gasps> enough? How about <gasps> here? Or right here? Oh, my! Me touching you was purely unintentional, dummy! Sure, sure, Thunderbird. I see you have the latest James Bond film as your in-flight movie, and I got a copy of Andy Weir's The Martian on one of your seats. That's the sort of artistic taste I can get behind, if you know what I mean. Huh? I you sicko! Don't read anything into this! It's not like I'm trying to dive bomb you because I like you or anything. In fact, it's just the opposite. You're a filthy, uncool, unattractive human, and I totally hate you. So, there! Whatever, babe. Say, what do you say we stop all this pointless back and forth and I climb onto your fuselage and snuggle in tight beneath one of your blankets? And then I was thinking you could treat me to a one-way flight to King Asgore's and no one would be the wiser. It'd be our little secret. Wow, what a liftoff! Did I come on too strong, I wonder? Let's try over here. Whoa! That was an eruption of hot volcanic gas strong enough to lift me off my feet and fling me to this other side! And it was fun! Yeehaw! Again! One more time! <laughs> oh man, someone ought to charge admission for that! It was all whoosh, and I was spinning in the air, and the molten lava was so red and glowy below me. I swear, have the joy of these kinds of rides and seeing how much certain death is just under your feet. Ooh, that looks useful. You're a long ways from the kitchen, Mr. Pan, but I'll be happy to bring you along with me. Let's see, this has got a good heft to it. 
weapon. Yeah, I thought it'd be a weapon. Attack. Ten? Consumable items heals four more hit points. Even if I never actually swing this at a monster, that alone is enough reason for me to equip this. To hell with that notebook. Invincibility my ass. There must have been some magic in that old bird pen he found. For when he placed it on his hand, food was suddenly four hit points more nutritious to eat. Though I actually would love the chance to smack this upside Metaton's stupid head. That claim would be wicked! OMG, I've had my claw over the last digit for five minutes. OMG, I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna call. What the hell is your major malfunction, Alfies? Communicate with me or don't, but you're really ruining my groove here. Now which way? How come I never ever see you guys until the moment you've turned me into a heart? There's not even any place here where you could have hidden to ambush me. Maybe if you just turned yourself invisible like the rest of us do, then you wouldn't make yourself such an easy target, little tinfoil. Then why can I see you now? Because you're a soul now, Tinderbox. Soul Sight is unflushing, you know. Things that can be hidden from physical eyeballs are visible to Soul Sight. Now if you're done with the Q&A... Burn, baby, burn! Fire? Oh, crud! Ow! Ow! Two hits and I'm down to ten hit points already? We're off to a crackling good start! Heat up? No way! Cool down? With what? Invite! Hey, Pyro! Let's hang out! Sorry! I'm all tied up! Oh god, I- I'm okay. Oh yeah, these are orange fire- Ow! But I was moving! I swear I was! Okay, that's it, squat. Maybe I should give Cool Down a try. <laughs> What's the deal? Oh yeah, didn't like that, did you? Ow! Only <coughs> three hit points burned off instead of five. <coughs> I'm making a comeback now to uh, double down on the attack. <laughs> What's the deal? As a living fireball instead of a volcano surrounded by magma, I gotta say, damn! That's some cool breath you're blowing there, Jack Frost! You know what? Screw you, Pyro! Please don't attack me! The whooshing sound of steam and cogs. It fills you with determination. <sighs> it's like that fight never even happened. I'm right behind you! Ready for round two? Ah! Alfies! Uh, hi! So, the Blue Lasers. Uh, I mean, Alphys here. Hi, Alfies! Hi! The Blue Lasers won't hurt you if you don't move. Uh, orange ones, um, y you have to be moving. And they, um... We won't, um, move through those ones. Uh, bye! Well, that... Oh, and gee, I did it! Claws haven't shook like that since Undyne called me to ask about the weather. Wait, weather? Hi, just curious. Why'd you call Alfie's about weather? What? Why'd I call Alphys about the weather? Who cares? I isn't it natural to love meteorology? I thought it was just an excuse to talk to her! I didn't know there was weather down there! Yeah, there is! And I'm forecasting an incoming front of- SHUT UP! Wowie! Will I need an umbrella? Need an umbrella? <laughs> That's a good one! Wait, there's no weather down here, why did she call me? Well wait, now that it's on my mind, there was one time I needed an umbrella back in Waterfall. Bits of weather do manage to trickle in down through the holes up in Mount Ebbett's surface. Uh, ow! Wait, I was hit by a blue laser, but there were orange lasers inside the blue lasers? Wonder if Alfie's could explain that to me. Switches are for pressing! May the next human that falls down here have an easier time of things thanks to me. Oh my god, I forgot to tell him where to go. Alf! You pick up me right now. I just thought of the perfect ringtone for you, Alfies. Uh, uh, 
Lucas here. What an unexpected surprise. The, the northern door will stay locked until you solve the puzzle on the right and left. I think you sh should go to the right first. Well, she never led me astray during Manhattan's quiz show, so right it is. Wee! Hey there, fellow monster. What are you doing out here? The way to work is locked, so I had time to catch Metaton's show on my phone. The special effects were amazing today. That human almost looked real. M the fight with Metaton? It's on the internet? Metaton versus human. Ah! Yeah, ah! ah! But the only cameras in that place were Alphys's. It was her lab. Did Alphys put this online? No. No, Menaton must have hacked into her security feed. Or maybe he installed his own cameras right around the same time he installed that spotlight and those disco balls. Silly Alphys. So focused on watching my awesome adventures, you didn't even notice a robot came in and set up all that stuff in your own lab. Of course, an experienced viewer like me knows CGI when they see it. Haha, <laughs> yeah. CGI. The things animators can pull off. Speaking of which, it's amazing you were able to make that human costume for yourself so quickly. What a cosplayer you are. I'm betting you're an otter boy underneath that mask, eh? Hey there, shadowy McShades. Anything you can tell me about Metaton? Metaton? Yeah, he's the most popular star in the underground. His fan club probably has at least two, no, three dozen members. Shocking he has that much. And that's not even counting me. I don't have time to hang around fanboys with bad taste. Wonder if it would be unfun if I explained the puzzle. While you ponder that, I think I'll get Papyrus and or Undyne's input. Hey, Papyrus, check out where I am on my new FaceTime. Oh no! The puzzle reactivating caused those people to miss their work? Yep, that's why I'm missing work too. Oh my god! Sans! Go do your jobs! For a lazy bone, Sans holds an awful lot of jobs. Oh boy, what is this? The door leading through the area is closed, so I tried the puzzle, but I kept running out of ammo and it kept restarting, and my two co-workers won't help? It's like they don't even want to go to work? And is every sentence out of your mouth a question mark? No! Not everything I say is a question? Why would you think that? Cool! There's some reading material over here. These are ships? Good lord, space invaders put more effort in their ship design. Just two shots, huh? Man, there's a lot of drool and teeth marks on these controls. Excuse me for not having any lamps? Woohoo! I need to join the NRA when I'm back above ground. That floating fox head guy. When he gets hungry, where does the food go after he chews it? One down, one to go. Alphys here? That blue laser seems totally impassable. But as the royal scientist, I have some tricks up my sleeve. I'll hack into the... The Hotland Laser Database and take it out. That Alphys. Some moments I want to strangle her, then she turns around and does something like that, and I want to kiss her darling Triceratops head. The hell are you gawking at? You two. Hey, Undyne, get a load of these kids playing hooky. Huh? Those kids are skipping school? Well, I can't blame them. School sucks! We need to find some way to make it cooler. Hey, what if I visited their school? Then I could beat up all their teachers! You know what will be handier, Undyne? Travel with me! Then you can beat up everyone who tries to beat me up. Believe me, there's lots! Uh, well, I don't want people to think I'm a human-loving traitor. <sighs> so, what's up, Buttercup? We were hanging out when suddenly a bunch of puzzles reactivated out of nowhere. This is a huge problem. It rules! They've got to cancel school over this! If I end up getting stuck down here in the underground, will I have to attend monster school too? Finally! Someone turned off that laser! Now that we're free, we can... Uh, well, uh, I guess 
guess we'll just keep standing here. Like this? Hmm? Nice try, but your loitering technique still needs work. Wait a second. Ah, uh, it's summer vacation! I'll bet you still have some summer school to go to, though. Same puzzle. Same message as before. Pizza cake. And the Galactic Federation is saved! Later, ladies! Bye! And we One, two, three! Open in the name of Galaga! Whatever, I'll just explain it! Explain what now? on the left and right. They're a bit difficult to explain, but... You shoot at the spaceships? Been there, done that. Uh, you already solved them? Awesome! I feel like informing Undyne and Papyrus about my puzzle-solving awesomeness. Hello? Hey, Papyrus! Did you hear that? I solved a shoot 'em up based puzzle! I heard you got to meet Manhattan! Oh yeah, him! I did! Really? Careful. That dude gives me bad vibes. With good reason. W what? But he's so popular! I don't care about people just because they're popular. Well, you can say that because you're popular. Psst, what? Popular with who? With a certain monster kid that was following me everywhere. And that little pipsqueak and who else? You're popular with me! Oh, for Clarence. You're popular with me too. Oh, wowie! Wait, does that mean you don't care about me? It's good to have friends. Eat your heart out, Mario! <sighs> now I understand why they didn't build a simple bridge over this chasm. Because steam blasting just rocks too much! And because monsters suck at bridge building. But now, this is quite the incongruous surface I find myself standing upon. Pretty much certain it's man-made, or rather, Monster made. Uh, hey, it's kind of dark in there, isn't it? Don't worry, I'll hack into the light system and brighten it up. This someone's house? Oh no! Whoa! Oh yes! Welcome, beauties, to the underground premiere cooking show. Preheat your ovens because we've got a very special recipe for you today. We're going to be making a cake. My lovely assistant here will gather the ingredients. Everyone give him a big hand. You putting this on the internet too? Primetime television, you're a ratings gold mine precious. Don't I at least get my own toke? We'll need sugar, milk, and eggs. Go for it, sweetheart. Well, he's not attacking me. Might as well play along. This isn't a show about washing your hands, darling. That's on Wednesdays. But a good cook doesn't touch food with unwashed hands. Milk, sugar, and eggs. You should be able to find them on the back counter. Yeah, okay. I don't know if I want to go any further until I at least sign a contract or something before we... What the hell? Okay, smartass. Let's see how your viewers like it when I take my time. Oh, yes. MTT brand ovens can reach temperatures up to 9,000 degrees. Roasting, toasting, burning, charring. You're excited, aren't you, darling? Trademarked. Such fun, fond memories. MTT Brain Microwave. Origin of the MTT Challenge. Put your food in and set the microwave on high for five minutes. If you can still recognize your meal, we'll double your money back. Does Minuton himself eat food? MTT Brand Food is his favorite. Hmm. Those have all been sitting out there on the counter a while. 
Maybe there's fresher stuff in the fridge. Milk, eggs, in the fridge. No way, darling, they get cold. Of course, we wouldn't want that. Wait a minute, look, the sky, the beautiful blue sky right out the window with clouds. Are we above ground? Don't be ridiculous, darling. That's just a backdrop. Ah. Stagecraft 101, baby. Hey, I got it! I got it all! All the ingredients! Great job. Just put them in the middle of the counter. Perfect. Great job, beautiful. We've got all the ingredients we need to make the cake. Milk. Sugar. Eggs. Oh my. Wait a magnificent moment. How could I forget? We're missing the most important ingredient. Flour, butter, baking soda, chocolate, raspberries. A human soul. <laughs> Hello, I'm kind of in the middle of something here. Wait a second, couldn't you make a... Couldn't you use a... Couldn't you make a substitution in the recipe? A substitution? You mean, use a different non-human ingredient? Why? Uh, what if someone's... Uh, vegan? Vegan? Uh, what I mean... That's a brilliant idea, Alfie's. Actually, I happen to have an option right here. MTT brand, always convenient, human soul flavor substitute. A can of which is just over on that counter. Well, darling, why don't you go get it? Why don't you get it this time? What's the matter? Not a can fan. That's too bad. MTT brand uses only the freshest artificial ingredients and chemicals. It's booby trapped. I know it's gonna be booby trapped. Huh? Whoa! Up and up and up it goes. Where it stops, nobody knows. By the way, our show runs on a strict schedule. If you can't get the can in the next one minute, We'll just have to go back to the original plan. So, better start climbing, beautiful. You are a sadist, Metaton! Oh no, there's not enough time to climb up! Did you get your doctorate in stating the obvious? Fortunately, I might have a plan. When I was upgrading your phone, I added a few features. You see that huge button that says Jetpack? The one right next to my contacts list? Watch this! <laughs> the cell phone turns into a Jetpack! There's an app for this? There! You should have just enough fuel to reach the top. Now get up there. I'm flying! Flying! I'm flying higher. Heck you shaking at me! Don't tell me you're too stupid to recognize eggs or sugar. Get out of my life, you overgrown calculator! And this is now. Gah! Two mm, percent! That's way more than a dozen eggs in that carton. How? If you got time to ponder that, you got time to dodge my sugar salvo and my dairy deluge. Ha ha ha, looks like the yolks on you. What is it with you monsters and honey? Puns are the absolute pinnacle of comedy. Uh, I suppose I should at least be grateful you weren't making a coconut cake. My my, it seems you bet to be. But only because you had the help of that brilliant Dr. Alfie's. Oh, I love to think of what would have happened to you without her. Well, toodles. Oh yes, about the substitution. Haven't you ever seen a cooking show before? I already baked the cake ahead of time, so forget it. Man, 
Didn't realize the ceiling was so high up in this part of the underground. Wow, we, we did it. We, we really did it. Great job out there, team. A terrific team of two, like Batman and Oracle. You rock and roll, Alfie's. Well, uh, anyway, let's keep heading forward. Man, all that flying really worked up an appetite. Where's the cake? Metaton said he'd bake the cake! Does that mean the cake was a lie? I'd love to douse that guy in liquid nitrogen and toss him into the lava! That can. Hungry and curious. Okay, I got it. Now to use my cell phone's can opener app. <laughs> Feels like fat carved off a T-bone steak. Mmm. In terms of texture and taste, human souls remind me of <clears throat> scallops. I pile on the candy. It's such a pretty sight. It makes the food taste dandy, but my tummy hurts all night. I'll put in some ingredients, but keep the rest for me. Can't you see? It's a piece of cake to bake a pretty cake. If the way is hazy, you gotta do the cooking by the book. You know you can't be lazy. Never use a messy recipe. The cake will end up crazy. If you do the cooking by the book, then you'll have a cake. We gotta have it made. You know that I love cake. Finally, it's time to make a cake. <laughs> Making food. Just like science, yeah. with tools that blend and base, and every fun appliance gives the food a different taste. Yeah. It's a piece of cake to bake a pretty cake. If the way is hazy, you gotta do the cooking by the book. You know you can't be lazy. Never use a messy recipe. The cake will end up crazy. If you do the cooking by the book, then you Let's get this show on the road!